be providing if you are late by five minutes you will lose it so we have to either we start at 10 zero five or at at 10 so it's not like wait people um so yeah i think from maybe next week we'll be very strict in time just we will start exactly on that time whether it's one percent or uh, more okay so apologies again just on um that I dropped the ball just because I had other immediate things to attend. So I didn't manage to do uh, my part. The one I said, just setting up the, the common data and following up um, on Monday to finish. But I assume everyone was working hard uh, to try to make it work despite. So let's, you know, with that admission, let's start, um, you know, with any actual if you can actually demo something like as well just like you know open screen share and by demo i don't mean it's just like you know what have you got like i think it's it's almost always we can be working on data we can be working on model but we might not end up in a good place so we need to strategize so um if each group have question put question but also if you want to show us something that is visible that you have found that you got so screen share that would be excellent as well. So are there any, you know, uh, let's start questions and then if not, are there any progresses, whatever you are there in terms of your code, but group by group, can we start seeing where we are? Okay, uh, so we have a Yaya, go on Yaya. Good morning, Gabby. Morning. Uh, so uh, group two <laughs> yeah. uh, we have been trying to uh, pre-train the gary logistic model using the unlabeled data so what we did was we just take uh, the yeah. so maybe yeah yeah it's like is there anyone while yeah yeah speaking from your group uh, just someone that can share screen I mean, let's make it very uh, technical conversation. So if you can share or they share, even if just the code, you know, it's yeah, that, better. Yeah. Uh, I was going to do that, but I couldn't associate. It's giving me a hard time. Okay. Time out now and then, okay. even so, when no one is using it. Um, I think it seems like, for example, I, I've observed Group 5 had really lots of, like basically finished 200 gigabyte um, and then if it's a disk is full, usually, of course, you can't SSH. Uh, you I have to ask for the, yours, maybe, I don't know. That was group five, I know. But let me yeah. check. I'm just checking uh, your instance. Um, okay. It's the, till then, I, 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 I think I had a screenshot okay. uh, of the running. Maybe I could share that one and, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I think it's every group. A uh, group two is stopped, so I can just start it now. You could have started as well, but let me start it now. While you are talking, you, so every other group is work like seems to be running except group two. So it's right. Okay, go on. Uh, can you see my screen? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So what we did was uh, we kind of collect the some text data just to start with. Uh, and then uh, we try to do we, do we know how much how much how much tokens or how much data that you are using just so that we have a, a clear understanding? Uh, I think I can check that one from uh, yeah, just on top of your head if anyone knows as well just the, from that group. It, it's not that much. Okay. Uh, it, where did I save it? Uh, I think it's this one, no? Uh, la, 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 la. Uh, just to take, I mean, to save time, uh, let me just <laughs> say the, the the steps that we follow in the, the, the blockers that we had. Uh, so having that data set, uh, we try to run it without quantization uh, and it failed uh, because of the memory so we uh, 
quantize it with four bit and it it runs but the 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 loss immediately goes to zero uh the learning rate decreases quickly and the uh, final output was like with zero accuracy so abdul hamid was uh, in contact with the the gari logistic team so they said unless you have uh, millions of data uh, you will not get much accuracy uh, or increase the accuracy with a little of data that that's they they replied it on hugging face so okay. the my question is uh, can't we just uh, pre i mean fine tune with the a uh, labeled data in progress with the rug or can we get a more <laughs> yeah that that's not possible uh, so yeah uh, that, that that's our uh, blocker but this yeah. one is just when yeah yeah i mean it's like of course with a small data i mean it's it's a, a simultaneous question <laughs> it's like if you have n parameters you need n constraints and mm -hmm. so you have to know how much you know basically the when you are unsupervised training or pre-training you have to know which which layers you are pre-training like or second training uh and then you have to know how many parameters and how many tokens and how many kind of information you are you have there and yeah, that's what i'm asking as well just how many tokens are you using like it, it's very important how much parameters you have and how much you, you know data do you have but uh, i think biniam has a question so you can ask biniam okay can you hear me yeah 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 okay so we were trying to get the uh, gary's model but yeah. it seems like it's inaccessible it's not even gated it's literally just closed i want to know how you got it and oh, uh, the okay. other one yeah so how did you manage to pre-train on a four bit like uh, pre-training i think it's not supported on qlora uh, i was i'm i was having issues trying to pre-train yeah. the last models of microsoft file on on the quantized one but i, mm -hmm. I just couldn't and i tried to join some forums and uh, read documentations and everything but i just could not so i would need to know how you how you did that and also the main thing is how you managed to get access to gary's model because i couldn't okay uh they they actually don't have uh, a, a whole model they they saved i think the the weights uh so you have to uh clone the Lele Mamaric something repo uh, that they used for inference. Uh, there are pre training uh, inference uh, codes, but you need to change the, um, the base model and the, their, their weights. So they, they put um, a placeholder for those. You have to change those and then. You have to move uh, all the files from the uh, pre-train to the Lama model. Uh, there are a, a lot of steps that we took to get there. Uh, maybe I can show you uh, later. <laughs> uh, and yeah, the the the, the for yeah, the yeah. quantization, yes. Yeah, yeah. So because your 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 computer is up and running, so maybe just. If if one of you from your group can show, I think this has been a question for everyone, and it will be uh, very helpful. Okay, yeah, I, I was trying to see it. It's still not. See, it it's not connecting. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Um, yeah. Just wait. Give me a minute. I'm trying to connect as well to it. So just to see. Uh, uh Abdul uh, Abdul Hamid. He wants to say something because he is the yeah. one who yeah. mostly figure out the the, the steps. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, go on. I'm, let me meet until then. I'm just, uh, I think I. Uh, yeah. So okay. So it must, it must have been the. Okay. I'm thinking the URL. Maybe the URL hasn't been configured. Yeah, go on. Yeah. So I can't even SSH, but I'll just share the steps we took yeah. to have the model running. Uh, uh, let me stop mine. Yeah. Okay. Is my screen visible? Yeah, okay. For me, for me not, unfortunately. Ah, yeah, now it's visible. Yeah. Okay. So here are the steps we took. So first, you need to go to Hugging Face, and then accept uh, like the Hugging Face Meta Llama. Then accept here. So within an hour or so, you'll have an access to the Llama Two model for the Hugging for the uh, from the Meta Llama Two Seven BHF. Then you'll need to install this using Git LFS and then Git clone. So if you come here and click on this and then uh, click clone repository you'll have these two uh, files these two lines of code so you'll just uh, copy and paste this and it will download the hugging face uh, llama 2 model and it's a, a big file so it will take some time to download and once it finishes downloading you'll then go to the amaharic uh, model jagar logistics model on a hugging face and then follow the same step. You just clone this repository as well. So these two codes. Then you'll go to their GitHub repository. So this is their GitHub repository. You'll just clone this repo. Then once you clone the repository, there will be an inference file. You'll find it in the inference run inference file so here there are some paths you need to change so these are the two paths the main path this is going to be the path you downloaded for the meta llama 2 model so the path where you do you, you download this model step one and the second one is the fifth model and this is the model you downloaded for the having for the uh gary logistics uh fifth model so you will you'll find uh, where you download it on the second step saying what what else you just need to comment out this line of code safety utils line and also uh yeah yeah so you'll be downloading a tokenizer file from the uh guide logistics model so anything that's concerned with tokenizers you'll be replacing them with the one you downloaded for the uh, Meta, Lama 2. So if you come here, you can see there are some tokenizer files. So what you need to do is replace these tokenizer files with the one you downloaded from the Meta, no, so from the Gary Logistics model. So once you do that, you'll have their Amaric model, their equation. Yes, my friend. Okay, uh, I just wanna ask if you, actually check the talk tested the tokenizer if it can actually <coughs> encode and decode amharic have you tried it manually uh, is, the, the, is it the same like there is a, a llama uh, for a tokenizer test for a llama just just like uh, on the medium page of the, the gary uh, yeah. the, the blog you you, you will find uh, the gpt i think the gpt is version of tokenizer oh, how, how they, they are showing how it is tokenized so are you getting the same so for example if you actually uh, check their tokenizer versus llama's tokenizer is it different or not or have you oh. checked that oh we didn't okay. check that we just went with loading. we went with loading the model and then running inference with it since it's okay. responding with a like a better prompt a bit an output. I think it's using the correct tokenizer of the Amaharic logistics model. Oh, okay. So, 
مبارك did you raise your hand yeah I did uh, try the tokenizer and it can uh, encode and decode that's what I want to say but I didn't compare it with the Lama to tokenizer yeah it it does like uh, uh, give us a bit a better uh, output so I'm, I'm guessing it's a better tokenizer they did use I think 3.8 billion parameters to train it so maybe the model does have a better understanding of the Amharic language more than any other model outside uh, we can find so this is an example they give so uh, but I, we, I, mean, I think Nathaniel's question is a very uh, specific which is usually good to check like this is trust now you, you guys have right so in a way it's important to test exactly step by step so that you know down the stream you know you need to know how good it is and if before you train so it's important sometimes to check specific things like uh, the tokenizer layer by layer so that you know everything is correct like because i think trusting them only is good like you know because when we don't have time but it's important to check them you know is it's actually if you compare the two how good is the tokenizer for example um would be i think in principle you can do it quickly if you have already the tokenizer yeah. inference because i think now i can ssh to your uh, group too i think it works but anyways it's the the question is more lama to also gives amharic and others give amharic there are so many uh, details that goes into the model so is it the, is the tokenizer really well fit like as 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 uh, comparatively yeah so you know, it would be nice just to ask you to check. Yeah. yeah yeah this is the example they give uh, on their article so I, I guess we'll need to check this for exactly. ourselves yeah and then that will tell you exactly that you have exactly as they say right like that all your setup is in such a way it's like that yeah, yeah. all right so Abdu? once you can you yes. can assist it now it's working okay. yeah but continue this one and then i think um yeah. i think this is good like for everyone who needs to do and hopefully that you will share this part okay so you already shared this one or uh, just that, yeah just so that everyone has access thanks for for that okay so there is links on them so you can you can follow each step i think uh yeah everything should work great okay and um i think that's good so you infer so that the main part is that you were trying so they are doing also fine tuning so they didn't do so it was actually they used a label data or what did they do oh so they used two steps the first step was just giving it amharic text a bunch of amharic text and for the second that's a pre-training step the second step for the fine tuning they translated the alpaca data set in which it contains instructions yeah. in, in their, resp their respective outputs so yeah, they but, trans but what, I, what i don't understand is so you you only plugged their fine-tuned model the instructed model right uh i well, i don't understand so, what to say so in a way like so you said you use the base yeah. model and yeah. then and then on top of that base model you you added the extra parameters from PEFT, the PEFT model uh, yeah. that they have. Is yeah. the PEFT model they have, is that what instruct trade uh, fine tuning or was that also the, the first step? It includes the first step. It includes both the steps, the first and the instruct fine tuning. Okay, so that means it, it should have two additional basically compartments. One is that replaces, that adds some knowledge and then the other one for instruct. Yeah. Yes. Yes, Mubi. Uh, I want to ask a question here, uh, Yabdubal. Too. Is it better to use the base model or the instruct model as a whole? Like, if we see there is uh, an, an instruct model fine tuned by others for uh, Mistral and Lama too. So, is it better to use the instruct model or uh, the base model? From the instruct, I don't think you can do much. It's like basically unless you 
fine tune that instruct itself, which means that you use their own configuration, number of parameters and others. Uh, it's usually advised just from to do so to do from the base model or the ones that are prepared specifically for fine tuning because otherwise it's i think they have done a lot to make it just suitable only for a particular case so i imagine i think this is now you know everyone can 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 based on their experience they can talk but they specifically tell you not to use, you know, for fine tuning, you should you should use something else. That means either a checked uh, model or um, yeah, something because the instruct model really forces it to to adapt their training. So you're you're gonna be yeah, it's better. It's not advised, I think, anywhere that I've seen. Okay, so so that means in group two, so you are trying, so what, so how do you control which part of the GARI you are fine tuning? Or are you loading just from their weight and then starting from that? Or are you replacing, you know, basically normally in fine tuning, whatever mode, whatever layer you wanna replace, you basically set it to, you know, random weight. So what are you doing? So what we are trying to do is, based on their uh, fine-tuning steps they used, we, we tried the pre-training steps. The pre-training doesn't really, like Iaia showed us earlier, doesn't uh, give us uh, a, a kind of a, a right result. It just goes from certain number of loss to zero directly. So I'm guessing the pre-training doesn't work. We, we try to uh, ask them, and they say the pre-training shouldn't really what, what does it mean i mean i, I think for me the, uh, it's just a slightly confusing part and is yeah, yeah it's, it's confusing what, part. Yeah. how do you because i mean how, that's what a layer also it's important to really understand it layer by layer instead of doing it uh, so how do you access the part that is a pre-training and how do you reset the weights you know what what are the steps that you are following because if you are not you know if you are not resetting it to random values if you are continuing it, it should be just fine i mean uh, unless they have of course merged their model in such a way that you know you can't do that in principle uh, i mean maybe nationally you can comment there as well just it's important if you're just starting from the normal weight and you update their weights based on now another gradient descent like there you know it should be fine Right. So what they are saying is that if you are resetting our weights, there is there are a lot of parameters, and then for that you need lots of data. That's what they mean. So that you know what they are saying is very simple statement. There's enough. You know there are you cannot get anything if you don't have you know while training lots of weights with small data. Yeah. So and you have to know also what is the trainable parameters in in that state. Like you know, uh, it should the model should output how many parameters you are you are training, and and then that will tell you how much tokens do you have for that. Yeah. And yeah, and go on also for the loss part, like uh, try to improve your uh, instructions while if you are doing a fine tuning, especially uh, you are using the. You are not using the instructed one, so you have to give it a, a clear instruction while you are to, you are fine tuning. So for, that's why it's giving you a loss of zero. For example, if you try it on uh, Mistral, uh, the Mistral version, you will get a uh, zero. So if you are using a wrong instruction, so for example, you you should instruct you, you should instruct it in a way it understands what you are actually trying to fine tune it on so i think it's not really understanding what you are trying to say since you are claiming you tested the tokenizer and it's working so which means either you have to uh, modify the embeddings in the model to match you the, the modified version of or the custom tokenizer one and after that while you are training it make sure to use the uh, uh, correct instruction and also a clear instruction 
and after that you will see the, the loss uh, either it will become it will drop steadily or it might not drop but it will be it will have a higher value like 1715 and on some cases you might find it on eight especially since you are triangle llama you might find it on eight uh, nine on but on most cases since you are using a different tokenizer than the current one and just make sure the tokenizer is correct and after that try to give it a correct instruction i just want to add that but I think what they are, they are trying to do at this step, I mean, again, that's uh, I'm not sure how they are doing it. Maybe like if you show us, we will also learn. Um, you have to specify again if you if you think of there are two compartments, one for instruction, and the other one is for pre-training. And if the two models are there, or if you know, did they actually instruct it, or is it just a fine fine like uh, unsupervised training that they have done in the Gari model? it's i mean it's not clear to me but if if that is the case and if there are two compartments or one i mean if it's one it's just simply like resetting the weights and so that means undoing whatever they were doing so in that step you are using only their let's say the tokenizer only in that step so in in this sense your model after fine tuning should should do worse than their model so you can really compare apple to apple you know just run llama 2 with one specific thing generate something and then run the gari model as it is and then run what you are trying to fine tune in principle that means yours will be really performing less because you've replaced their part and you didn't actually teach it in that case you will know where, what what you're doing yeah yeah just go on Sorry, uh, can I share the code? And yes, yes. There are actually three layers that we are trying to uh, yeah. make Go it on. work. Share, share the code, yeah. Yeah. I think uh, Abdul, <laughs> he was supposed to present this. Okay, so th 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 there is, um, th the first one is the pre-training right and then there is a, a fine tuning and then there is an inference so we were working on the pre-training uh, which means the using their tokenizer we are trying to um, pre-train it with our data uh, as as you said yeah we, we were just uh ignoring everything and <laughs> uh, now i understand what what, what this does so I, I think we need to start from this one, from the, the fine tuning. And then from from after this, we, we, will, we will do our inference, not theirs, because ours is different. Uh, so uh, th th so this is the, the, the pre- Yeah. Just while you are there, just I'm trying to, um, so just look at the code. So. Uh, this is the, the pre-training one, uh, but there are some uh, setups we need to make first. The from this, uh, this file. Uh, these are for the uh, LoRa, and we need to. That's the 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 Llama 7B model, and then we took the the Amaric tokenizer, and then we gave it a data set directory and for the cache uh, uh I, I was just experimenting with those this wasn't supposed to be like this uh, on their default it was one one and there was no warm-up steps i think that that should be in the fine tuning step and then we give it an output directory that's where they that the, a pre-trained model uh, will be stored basically and then uh, they they train it with those parameters. Uh, I think if we are not going to uh, pre-train it with a big data, we we need to start from the fine tuning. That that's my understanding. Uh, so for the pre-training, we we uh, we just include this one uh, because. 
if we uh, pre-train it with even that small data, uh, it says out of memory. So uh, I simply add the uh, quantization and I give it a quantization configure file. Then it starts to uh, run, but the accuracy is, as you said, it's not good. Yeah. So this is what we did. But I think now we, we need to start from this layer, from the fine tuning. Okay. That's my last question, as well as also, I have one question. Did they pre train? Okay. Uh, you Gary, pre -train? Did they pre train? Did they, did they uh, pre train? Yes, the, 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 this is what it does. But because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit un, unsure, like, okay, where do they specify? Maybe this is my lack of understanding. Where do they specify which layers are they? Are they find you know pre training, like or in this sense? So maybe if anyone on, has on top, on top of Lama too. Yeah, yeah. But what does that that does that mean? Like it. Uh, so maybe I'm Mubarak um, or not. Not whoever understands. Yeah, Abdul Hamid. Just okay. go on. Yeah. Mubarak or whoever is just the, the hand uh, raised. Just go. To the I'm discussion. not sure about like uh, which layer they. Uh, which way, uh, way they change it but since the the code is uh, a large line uh, as compared to fine tuning uh, and also they mentioned on uh, the blog and for uh, our kids it is better not to pre-train uh, the Amharic Lama 2 model and uh, it's better to fine tune it because we don't uh, give it that much data uh, as compared uh, to them uh, so it is better to fine tune. That is my suggestion. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Importantly, it's not about that only. It's not about mm -hmm. this or that. So if we have to do something, we have to understand the, exactly what has been done. So in, 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 you know, just basically, which layer has they fine tuned? So maybe whoever has has been doing some pre training. Do you know how you define, you know, or the default? It's probably they're using the default uh, part, but, you know, does anyone know, like, is there a model description there in the pre-train? So is there a model, how they describe the model? Just on the on the, the pre-train, sorry, in the pre-train. So that's the model, no, it's, I'm saying how the model is defined. So if you go to the pre-train still, So just um, and, uh, not too fast, then uh, we can't see. OK, on train, uh, save model. OK, so that's not. So if we go down, we go down again. So, okay, here no process budgets for okay, go down. We go down again. Okay, so but here here, like just okay, so just a bit more. Up up slightly, up slightly, sorry. Okay, so more from it is types. Okay, so and then if we go down on this one, the more arguments. Okay, yeah, just not. Okay, so yeah, if you can scroll here. Yeah. Okay, so I think that one, okay, no, no, just uh, there, it's like, uh, so if you scroll to the left, like so to the right so that we see the whole scale attention weights so if you just go to again to the left and bait what is that and bait uh, okay so go down again Go down, 
Just let's see some more revision. No, just slowly, 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 slowly. Okay, okay. So go down just so that. <laughs> String samples. Yep, scroll down. And then... Yeah. Looks. Okay, so, okay, so override cache, just let's wait there. So if you just scroll to the right. No, okay. Okay, so just uh, go down. Okay. It's probably here then. Uh, trainable, yeah, okay. So trainable is, what is that part, Q projection, V projection? Okay, so um, it seems that I probably won't be uh, Egypt. Okay, if you go down. Yeah, so. Yeah. Okay, so I think the round here maybe is okay. So, so if you go down again, just slightly, sit so seat before. From uh, yeah. Remove the terminal uh, uh, window and also click Alt Z. Yeah. The, the below. So, the uh, you know, so the the point I am just doing here, even if it's slow, is like I want to understand where they specify which model layer is being you know, fixed and which model part is actually going to be pre-trained so that that is the um, tokenizer and okay so if you go yes scroll down just a bit okay so that's okay go down this is just more on the tokenization Yeah, go down, just here is on the, um, okay, main process first, it does it not tokenization. Okay, this okay. is more advanced. Okay, training args to training data set sample. Go down still a bit. Um, 
just faster so that I am much more taking time. Okay, so. Okay, so I think maybe I, I, it's not going to be a good use of our time. Um, it's probably finding there exactly just which which ones are actually being. Uh, there might be a default if you are not specifying, and or maybe just these different classes LLM for causal from pre-trained uh, probably has already uh, searching for that documentation could tell us exactly what happens. Um, in that sense, so I think I will I will I'll check that as well. So, but the important part for us to figure out here is just that, okay, so they have pre-trained, let's say, the last layer, or the 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 last two layers, and or is it you know, or is it just that when also when they do pre-training, they are actually not touching anything of the base model but then they added like this uh paved model on top of that and then another instruction on top of that if so how are they combining these two into one model um or is it just they have only trained unsupervised way they didn't do anything supervised so that means the paved model they have is basically you know only fine tuning in that case what do we mean by pre-train i don't understand like so then what you know did they do pre-train um or is that by pre-train it means that they they loaded the model and then um yeah so benjamin okay yeah. can you hear me i had yeah. a power in network problem i joined okay. by phone right now okay. that's why i was honest uh can you hear me yeah, yeah we can hear you go on i i said your name is different here Oh yeah, it's another. It's a different image. Yeah. Okay. So, um, they used the. Uh, I think they trained on an unstructured and unlabeled data at first. Uh, I've also seen the Chinese model. They used, I think, eight GPUs <laughs> to train on uh, three lens of tokens, or billions, or three lens. I'm not sure. Yeah. So like first they I just I think they, they just teach it semantics and grammar of the language and then they use a small in structure uh, structured data set which has instructions to fine tune it for domain adaptation I think yeah. that's what I saw that's why they use it. There, it, it is data. true that's what it says but how how is that specified in the code and you know in principle I mean I I am much more you know take my word more of from a logical perspective more than a technical perspective logically I know what it means you have a last layer when you save and then you freeze the others you don't you don't back propagate on the others uh, to change the weights but you are only changing a part of your model's weights and to do that you usually select the the layers that you are interested and then save them to some random value if you are just really replacing their part and then you use your model and then the freezed other weights and then you only just let's say the trainable parameters you have is you know one million right so or some amount then you just train those based on your data and then you get now if you are if you are if you have checked point so yeah. let's imagine someone uses some data and they they give you a check uh, a checked model so that basically means you can continue exactly from that as if the power was interrupted you know so it's not different so in principle that you would not lose anything because you are not resetting it to a random weight so whatever you do even if you have a small data it's fine you might not gain much but it should be fine so now that's what i want to understand so that's the process so if this understanding is wrong we should know like or if 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 some of these classes hugging face classes are encapsulating some of them that's what we need to understand okay we, yeah that is the case you know it's like okay even if we don't explicitly tell it what it does the hugging face from causal models uh, from pre-trained actually does that you know then fine we are happy we know and we test only like okay you know can we actually then is the gary model a checkpoint or what is the difference between an actual final saved model and then a, uh, you know the one that is a, a checkpoint and then we understand that one as well so we are happy then we are not going to do something that doesn't make sense 
right? So we, we have to protect ourselves from doing something that doesn't make sense, right? Oh, that's yeah. my that's my 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 point is just let's do what is sensible and what is normal so that we don't spend that much time. So if it's just about then okay, you know, because we don't have a checked point, we can't do on top of what they have. Just add what we have, then we just only go and do instruction. So for that instruction, again, we prepare and you know, like maybe that that's what I mean is like what what have I what did they do? Did they do some actual supervised one or could just we assume their their model understands Amharic now? Let's just only fine tune with the instruct uh, fine tuning. So it's understanding that clearly now, given that Abdul Hamid, uh, Yaya, their group has actually a working way, we can test these different things. And now also they share their knowledge and their understanding now. We all can do those tests, so, you know, somehow to check actually like to do something sensible. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I agree with you. Yeah. Um, okay. I, yeah, but so I think the, the, the part that getting a loss zero means it has nothing got to do with the data. I think as it's got to do with wrong setup. Um, yeah, it's probably a wrong setup. Yeah, because I mean, loss should should have been uh, yeah, or unless like it's so good that it's predicting everything and then you know which unlikely so maybe it's, it's because the data is so small and it's kind yeah. of overfitting don't you think so but i mean it's still i mean even if you you give it i don't think i mean i i i don't i think that's unlikely more than just not doing something that doesn't make sense because we can look at the predictions maybe in that sense to see what is the next word it's predicting so we can print in the training yeah. what what was the predicted and what is the actual yeah actually um speaking of garis model i think they used the translation engine in between and uh, translated the entire alpaca data set into a instruct data set which is basically a conversation between a human and an assistant but I think yeah. before that, yeah. So I think they, they used Google or something translate. Yeah, Google. They used the Google yeah. Translate engine. I think they used also. They had they had a support from Google. I think they also. Yeah. Had a, so a, 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 is, I mean, they, they used that. So I mean, that's just basically they they wanted that one is for evaluation, nothing more. I okay, it was just for evaluation. I mean, mostly the MU whatever data set they used it for evaluation, and then they had other translated data sets maybe also or generated data sets um but yeah so that, that that i think that's more of how in their data card i think that's more for us what is important is the steps that they the, the sensible steps what what you know what have they done in terms of like i mean the data we know they use data so fine you know data is data uh, yeah. but actually in the model training in the pieces that they have put what have they used and uh, what, what are they providing us? And how can we, on top of their model, how can we continue? That's the question. Okay. But uh, I think, okay, so this this part, I would say like this, uh, now this is one step that we have to understand yeah. to do the next one. Um, okay, so let's hear from other groups as well. So I think this is good, just uh, in the interest of time, uh, thanks, Group Two, for this contribution. I hope that it helps others as well. And we also know now where you are, so um, that helps. So, what about other groups? Where are you? And you know, is there anything you have tried that doesn't? Even if it doesn't work, it, it works. It doesn't matter. Maybe just you are Biniam and uh, Mubarak. You are Group One, so maybe you could continue from there. Okay, shall I continue? Okay, so um, basically, um, I was using individually, or I have also told my group to follow the same kind of routine, but also having their own, you know, kind of intuition while working on it. So uh, I use Gary's repository, which um, kind of leads you to the Chinese uh, Lama. The Chinese Lama had so many scripts that were written to help, you know, other developers so they can pre-train and fine-tune their models with it. So I kind of try to understand and 
calculate how to actually train it but i kind of came into a conclusion that um you know uh, since the gari model is already trained they did know some it. i think the only step is to uh, instruct to train it on a labeled data right so if we do that i think that would achieve something really great personally i, I think that way so given our data i think it's just about labeling it uh, i have tried different data sets that are labeled with different vanilla um, models on my notebooks but the, the results were not that impressive so basically uh, we are trying to you know label the data and as i asked earlier get access to garis model and instruct fine tune super in a supervised manner instead of wasting time trying to train the last you know layer of the 7 billion parameter lama um so that's pretty much what we're on right now and uh, as so it in terms that, of data in terms of data what you know do you now know how many like have you tokenized the data that you have and does anyone know how many tokens they have like for at least this case mm, yeah i mean that, like last week we were working on a tokenizer it was kind of efficient we used the the byte encoding uh, you know the yeah it, it was efficient our tokenizer we have tokenized other data but that I, I think uh, let's be very very you know right now we're talking that uh, we're, we're using words that has no information you know yeah. for me words that has no information means it's good adjectives like that in the technical sense let's be numbers and direct i mean i am a little bit uh, like that because it's very important we yeah. are answering questions in the very technical sense so that means not our assumptions so okay. do we have we counted our tokens you know did we do we have a code that we understand that exactly does x or y because we have only a few days it is very important we talk direct not not impressions and uh, things so it's not about you know for you in uh, Binyam, it's, it's really in general when you have a very small amount of time you cannot talk the same way so we have okay. to be very practical to get something done and to strategize right so for that reason that's what i'm saying uh, how many tokens do we have? Have we collected all this data into one group? Uh, if we train, how many of the, do we have some uh, labeled data? You know, so, because that tells us to strategize. If we don't know that number, we have to know that number. As okay. I was um, saying, yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. sorry to interrupt. Uh, yeah. Just uh, um, a question here. When you say how many tokens we have, we know that the, the number of tokens we can, we can get from any text depends on the yes. tokenizer. Yes. So, so we just count. So for example, your vocabulary can be 50,000, but you have yeah, like on one token appears you know, in different texts like... Yeah, um, I just want to say one, one yeah, thing. We yes. know that for, for the low resource uh, languages, um, Harik, one of them, tokenizers that are bad, uh, they they create so many tokens Absolutely. from a small 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 word Absolutely. so i think maybe uh, this is my just my suggestion is that we should measure our our de text or our data in words that will make more sense because, it is like, true but because now we are using sentence piece which is good on itself it can tell us yes it's in part is about words number of words uh, yeah. but if we're using because we are assuming i'm assuming everyone is more or less using the same tokenizer which is sent okay, so or there. running okay. on amharic so we then know at least that part but yeah what i mean is exactly yeah that okay okay if so there are an agreement on using sentence piece as a tokenizer like yeah. uh, in principle people will get like uh, uh okay that's that's not sense. yeah okay. so so within that otherwise in terms of word or if not in terms of basically bytes as well right but bytes doesn't tell us much but it is that's why it's better the word just as a to tokens or words uh, in this case and how many do we have from a collected all sets that we have so far and um so one is that one and the second one is so from group two we now have the issue that okay we need to understand exactly what we mean uh how it's run so that that is one piece and now from other groups, I want something like concrete like that. 
you know, where are we in terms of that? Like, you know, in terms of data, like, you know, you have a tokenizer, but if you are, if you don't run, if you didn't run the tokenizer on your data, it still means just, you know, that's it. Like we haven't progressed much. It's not about having a, a tokenizer and because we have only a few days. So we have to be very critical as like, you know, what are like, we're, we're about to cook and we need to understand what is exactly in the gradient. It's not about shopping. It's not about talking what we can shop in the market. If we stop this one, it will be good. That time has passed now because, you know, we don't have that much time. So let's really be specific. So that helps the whole group strategize who has what, you know, who has done what that can be shaped um, in such a way that we all, tomorrow we are in a better place. And of course, hopefully after tomorrow, we are doing some rug um, with whatever we understand, hopefully. So that's why I am much more pressing everyone. So it's nothing personal. Okay. So uh, I was more kind of working on the, on the model, but I can, I'm pretty sure that uh, we have tokenized some, you know, sentences and paragraphs and it is kind of it is optimized uh, i can actually count how many tokens in general we have because we have merged all the data we have in one file in one huge file um yeah maybe maybe then yeah numbers. why not group one tell us how many yeah. from the data that they have how many tokens can be generated or you know what is the, the part um and then as well so are we utilizing all the data that is available for our for the entire group you know or is it just that you know someone works on some set of data and someone works on some set of data can we synchronize to increase if we list if you have just a small like okay in our data currently we are using this 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 data it will help uh, for everyone as well so if you if everyone so group one will be tasked to report on their number of tokens based on their tokenizers as well if we could count separated by space um just the words just so that we know roughly what it means word to token ratio okay so that will help so yeah let's you know achieve aim for that at the same time others in your group can also try to understand the other question you know what does that really mean in the fine tuning part you know uh, pieces document uh, referencing the hugging face some of these classes as well. So I think the, the same will do group two, but that's good. Okay. And um, let's know the amount of data that we have um, so far. Okay, I will share in the in the group. Uh, just running a small screen. I have power problems, so yeah. But I'm sure it works. <laughs> yeah. I will share in the in the Slack how many tokens we have. Great, awesome. Okay, so which group next? And uh, where are you? And then, okay, Mubarak. Uh, okay, we are group three, okay. and uh, for the, I don't know how much token we have, but uh, as uh, we have uh, 47,000 uh, somehow row, row of data, uh, and uh, we didn't progress much because uh, our instance uh, NVIDIA driver was not working and uh, yesterday we fixed that and uh, we start working uh, and uh, after that uh, we are following uh, the uh, one uh, the code that Nati shared us and uh, we are using Lama to tokenizer too and we plan uh, to change that tokenizer after viewing uh, the result uh, to the Gary logistics one uh, to compare the results Mm, and finally, uh, what we got is uh, it was really uh, late night, and uh, when we uh, try to uh, see the output, it looks like it is uh, labeling uh, add or uh, add, add or not add in the media. But when we check it, it is also retrieving the label. So uh, what we got is not really uh, the one we want. Uh, uh, and uh, today, I guess... What we're, we're using to label? Sorry. Uh, we just... Uh, the one that Nati showed uh, us is okay. to generate hashtags. But okay. for our case, uh, is it, uh, when we give the text, uh, 
we just want uh, the model to say it is an ad if it is an ad if it is a media ad in media if it is uh, a telecom if, uh, if, uh, okay. to say tele yeah somehow classification that was how we approaching it and i think we progress good today that's from our side so what what do you think you can contribute to the pool um in terms of like you know where where could we use your resources uh to solve one critical problem that everyone is facing um address some issue so where do you think is uh, you are putting effort and what can we learn from it mm, uh, in what way so it's like we are all trying to achieve one thing we want at least one model from all groups to work such that you know we can use it for our generation now there are pieces one is data the other part is model and the other part is actually then the fine-tuning uh, examples you know how do we find like, if we are basically the instruction data is miss currently is not no one is at least assigned you know what is the format that the the model for example it could be the gary model we would uh, give it to train to find to basically instruct fine tune so maybe could you guys look at how you actually test and report on if you were to now instruct fine tune what are the formats and what are the, the different tests you do like some kind of test driven like perform some tests like saying like okay you know we now understand when we instruct it in this way it learns this way right it could be using an english corps uh, but to understand the mechanics or the specifics of fine tuning yeah uh, we can't say much because we haven't uh, seen the real output what we are expecting maybe uh, today we can uh, update on slack uh, while we are working on fine tuning uh, some of the group members are also working on the rag part and uh, they use i think uh, from uh, as an embedder from a hugging face and by using uh, that when they give uh, a context and uh, see what it uh, results uh, uh, after doing similarity but the output is not uh, that yeah, much we know that we know that that's why it's like it doesn't work right so yeah and so. we plan to uh, use the uh, amhari lama to model as an embedder if we can get a better result in uh, similarity search uh, that is how we are so, so then if that is the case i mean i think right now i don't want everyone to just try you know, in a way that doesn't help. We have to be strategic. The number of days means strategy is needed. So could you then work on the embedding at least? Then report on the embedding, how much uh, similarities in that you can get between different things that we know, for example, between ads that are within the same class versus outside this, the class uh, or this or that. Can you report a strategic test of embedding using the Amahar, like you know the, Amahar, uh, the Gari model can you work on that because I, I want you to work on specific things now such that we progress as a whole because otherwise we are unlikely to make any progress so okay, we fine. have to we have to be very focused you know either it's data or model understanding or fine-tuning understanding like instruct fine-tuning understanding or data preparation for instruct tuning or embedding so it's i'm just trying to to say where where are you currently very much invested so that you can continue but focused okay 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 so is that is anyone from group three like are you happy with testing this you know reporting on the different embedding parts um that are available including you can i mean i'm sure people already tested if they haven't tested but also embedding uh, using um uh, gpt4 
and then comparing it with GPT-4, Gary, and some other, you know, random uh, Lama 2, for example, based Lama 2. Anyone from group two who either is happy or not? Okay, Nasrallah. Yeah, um, morning. And morning. I think also some of our teams actually invested in the RAG system also. So we also don't yeah. mind to investigate that part. Um, but just to, just to clarify things, uh, do, do you think now, from all this, from all those sixteen members, uh, six six team members or groups, we should focus on a specific task by a group. Or it, 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 it's, it's, oh, sorry, oh, sorry. It's not oh, about. Uh, it's not about only just one, but there has to be an output expected output from that group. While you do what you do, uh, but assign a specific contribution. Like, that's what I'm asking. I'm not asking group two, for example, to stop other things they do. But we need we need to strategize a part of their members should really contribute to the whole. So that at least as a whole, we have one. Instead okay. of no one has one, you know? It's like, it's, so in that sense, some part of your group should be aiming now to contribute to the pool. And the pool is just the six groups are the pool. So, you could you and the group three can take that part you know in such a way that you can contribute a, a, a very specific good solid understanding of embeddings uh, in amharic with the different models that we have whether we should be also training another embedder just like the same for tokenizer should we do something else so it's basically nail that, that part the embedding part and understand the space, you know, within the models that are there, what is a good embedder mm -hmm. and contributes basically, yeah, like with this embedding, you know, we have tried GPT-4 embedding, uh, uh, Gary model embedding, uh, Lama more, to just base model. More of like a result uh, report, like on each model. Yeah. And, and exactly. And then we just, really the, then tomorrow or so, we have a clarity that, okay, everyone mm -hmm. at least can use that one to build their rugs and then it, they, you know it's like that it's a continuation and then also from fine-tuning we have a clear understanding for example group two would say okay we have gone through these different parts and this is yeah. how this is works and group one would would come uh would report on you know all of the you know the collected data that we have so far is this amount of data we can generate collectively right something yeah. like that and it, that specificity yeah. Um, the other thing, sorry, sorry to interrupt Mubarak, is that um, um, also our team members, actually, we, we are also investing a lot in terms of the fine tuning part. Um, and, and our goal or so far, the plan we have right now is actually not to stick with one model. It's like we're trying to discover as much as we can or experiment as much as we can. Like from talking to you, like uh, uh, some of the models being given in the document challenge and we are finding other models so this is I, good i mean I, i'm it, it is not a change of strategy it's a change of like you can contribute now work with like that you know assigned is so so far what i am not mm -hmm. you know what i'm sensing is that people haven't understood exactly some questions we are yeah. hoping we are hoping it works i think i think you're not yeah. understanding. Yes, I uh, think. I think okay, let me not use the word. I think um, I'm 100% sure about that. The reason why most of us are using hope as a word of describing the situation is that we still not yet actually know the right way of solving it. So that's a clear statement for all for the whole team. So it should be the yeah. clear. So that's what I'm trying to put is that let's be systematic to build our understanding, our common understanding, such that. We identify we you know we read both the hugging face model part you know and others like those it's not one group only every group who's invested on the fine tuning helps you know by group it means like a, a part of a subset of the group can help collaborate such that we end we have a clear understanding actually we do something sensible i mean for me uh, it doesn't make sense we spend all of this money on the mm -hmm. gpus with all this time of yours 
to just do something that doesn't make sense. I mean, we are yeah. learning, but it's not good. So let's do, let's nail step by step, fix this thing so that what does it mean that pre-training and which, you know, where is, uh, what are we accessing? You know, what are the different layers that are existing and and that, that understanding. So all groups that are invested there should contribute, but I want to be now communicated sub between groups efforts are not duplicated it can be investigated separately but you know then put together to have a solid understanding so by tomorrow yeah. morning i want to have i want to have like this assigned task groups to be able to report something very concrete like okay you know we now understand the default in this this is that and if we are when we are saying find you know pre-training it means this um if we are using Gary model Gary model has the, the model in this format therefore we can't use it or we can use it very specific right it's like so that's what i'm saying so if your group some of your some of your group members are invested there please talk to and you yes know, with, with other groups in such yeah. a way that we figure out a solid understanding so about that actually i um i think i think my group members can actually do both because of the skill uh both we have and 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 also some of my team members in the fine tuning part are investing a lot so i i think they could yeah. they, their work must be somehow shared with others so also yeah. they will take responsibility in that matters yeah. in the rack system yeah. just to just to give you update um um honestly one of the main reasons we're having issues so far um and and i don't want to duplicate it is that yesterday for example the last two days we were focusing on the data labeling like gathering our own data and try to label it in google sheet and and that was actually being progress almost that's good. so how many do we have how many do you have so that's it's one contribution from your group maybe that you can share you know our like that's what i want to have a number format. like we do have a format of a google sheet on how we actually um uh, yeah, set up. how many did we how many did we label or how many is already labeled it's it's not it's not a lot actually but to be yeah, more even if it's 100 how many it's more I than one numbers okay. yeah i want numbers i mean that's above, what i'm saying two k's above two k's uh two okay. k that's good around two k or more that's great it is so, more than k it's not less than two k but i don't know exactly two k how much uh, that's okay. what I'm good thinking. no no that's what i'm saying so that's good that's a specific number that is helping others can then know okay you know how many in total do we have that's and then Nathaniel probably can tell us also how many already from the system how many has been labeled uh, how many actually considered that so let's then collectively today figure out how many do we have a labeled data mm -hmm. that and then we do the something because by tomorrow morning we should not be we should be talking with numbers we have this amount of tokens and this amount of words this amount of um labeled data and here is the model that works here is what makes sense here is what doesn't make sense and uh, also that from the perspective of um uh, embedding you know that we have tried something and so everybody aim to contribute so that you know your group contributes more to that task in such a way that we now have a collectively a good understanding just the same as now what uh, you know group two has contributed right so you now see what contribution is it, one it thing moves we, up. One thing we could do is that we could drop the link of the Google Sheet so that all yes. of us could have one one format and maybe yeah. even Nat Nile could add the data set also there. And just simply um the more we have the better. And yeah. again, uh, we are actually counting on the other team members' data set and how they will label it. So 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 yeah, if we just have a one Google Sheet and based on that one Google Sheet. Yeah, yeah. So I think even if it's multiple Google Sheets, but just sharing that this is where we are working so that everyone can see is good. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, regarding the label data, we uh, finished and sent it to Nathanael. Okay. Uh, but how we many, can. How uh, many has there been? Collect, uh, I don't know how many, but we we will get it to you tomorrow yeah. morning. Okay. How many tokens? I think how many that also can tell us exactly. You no, know, especially how many labels, and and then what is the overall data that that within you know 
this cohort we have in terms of Amharic, uh, especially mostly Telegram part. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, and and I want to also update about the blocker we are facing. So yet, yeah. Because, like, uh, it is, uh, any, nothing is perfect so far. Is that um, we might be need a session from Nat Nile on Mistral because we're I, I don't know how many teams are using Mistral, but we're still having some issues with Mistral input format. So, so maybe a contribution from 10x in that matter will actually boost our progress a lot in that matters. So, yeah. Sure. Okay. That's yeah, I think we will. We will uh, I mean, Natanael, have you been working on in Mistral? Uh, could you hold? And because he's here, that's a nice thing. Could you hold just a discussion with them? Oh, okay. Uh, I can do that. And yeah. yeah. I was fine tuning it last time. Uh, we can. Yeah. I can share that. So yeah, just exactly. It's a discussion. It's not about you know yeah. much, but it's much more. Maybe the problem they have is what you already solved, uh, or you you can together solve it. Okay, good. So you guys, yeah. So you can have a discussion anytime. Um, you you arrange. You guys arrange. Yeah. No worries. I will be. Okay. That's okay. Great, Abraham. Is that group five? I imagine, right, Abraham. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, can you hear me? <clears throat> Hello. Yeah, I can hear you. Sorry, I, I was muted. Uh, okay, so uh, maybe regarding the data, uh, we've been we've been able to progress more much more on the data rather than the other, the fine tuning part, and also the rag as well. Uh, we were able to table across 29,000 data and found over 600 ads on our side of uh, the, the data was that has given for us from Telegram yeah. channel Yeni2. Okay, that's wonderful. That's so that means we have 600 classified ads and then how many was the NAN ads? So the NAN ad would be about 28,000, okay. 574. Great. Okay, so that is a, a good addition, at least for anything that tokenizer and other embedding and everything else that the NAN ad will help us as well. While the ad part would help us, the six hundred class from others combined will help us in the fine tuning. So great. Okay, and then what is next? Uh, what are you invested at, and where do you want yeah, to as a team? Yeah, we, we tried yesterday, we allocated each other tasks so that we can uh, start the fine tuning today. Uh, yesterday, some part of the team was allocated for loading the model and preparing it. And some the, the other subgroup was assigned the task to uh, read on the tokenizers and embeddings so that we can join in today and work on the fine model, fine tuning. But uh, yesterday we had blockers on the loading the model, but today we have seen Abdul Hamid, I think, uh, steps, and we plan to follow that and head on with uh, fine tuning as, as soon yeah. as possible. Yeah, more than fine tuning as well, just think about what actual understanding, I think, again, I was saying, understanding what makes sense, you know, what are like, what are the different in, in the in the code that is there, there are probably a lot of hugging face uh, classes and functions as well as also TensorFlow, or uh, I think it's mostly TensorFlow, I don't know if it's PyTorch as well. Uh, so learn and understand what they do and what specifically contribute on those aspects as well. You know, so this part is doing this and here is the 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 part and um, such that overall, we not only just try to fine tune in on a way that doesn't make sense, uh, you know, we have to understand. So contribute both in fine tuning and learning, but also uh, learning from the documentation, hugging face documentation or TensorFlow documentation, so that we learn what they are doing and where is actually, where are we setting up the number of parameters to be trained? Uh, where are we setting up, like where, how are we selecting different uh, elements uh, in the model? Okay, sure. Uh, I mean, I've been listening to people uh, in groups and their briefings, and we've taken notes on how to select our tokenizer and how, how much we should be considering also the par parameters. And I think we'll try to have a better yeah, progress. It's, it's, it's exactly. It's about learning from um, 
you know what is missing what are not people doing at least from the contribution perspective you know choose where you could contribute what is not covered just try to cover uh, in your in your contribution okay sure okay great and group four alexander rudolph and yvonne and i don't know others but uh, rudolph Rudolf, you can go on. Oh, you are muted. Hello? Yeah. Can you hear Hello. me now? I, yeah. yeah, I didn't you know that you. I was on uh, mute. Yeah. Okay. So regarding the data, uh, we we trying to label, and uh, we have a uh, uh, our our part is a four thousand five hundred to six thousand so basically one thousand fifty fifty hundred so we're trying to to label it uh yeah. but before sending to Nathanael uh, we I asked uh, because it is uh Alexander who work on that I wanted somebody to to confirm in our group so that uh we won't send a uh, in this wrong uh, labeling because if it is in this wrong labeling the data will learn rubbish knowledge so this is the reason why we didn't yet send and uh, as a, as a really we need that you were talking about contribution uh we will focus on that and send to Nathanael. and but if uh, uh what nasara have suggested also is available maybe uh in only one google sheet we can also uh put in that so regarding the data this is what uh, we have done for the fine tuning part uh, uh, honestly, we didn't progress too much, but if you allow me, I can share something with you. And um, please go on. Can you see my screen? No, it's coming. I'm not sure it's still yeah we it's visible okay um okay can you see yeah we do see yes okay so um for the uh, fine tuning part what we were, we were trying to do is uh, we, we found a code, a code that that was uh, that was a fine tuning a, a hamaric data this one it is labeled uh, as you can see here we have a, a category and uh, uh, I was following this, uh, this this part and what I did is for the Bezel model uh, where is it now give me some second I will I'll show that so after preparing the, the data set, uh, basically we, we we convert that uh, that data set which is in the uh, panda frame uh, panda, panda frame to a data set from a tensor from a transformer. Okay, and after after doing that, and uh, we. We separate. We split. I mean, the the three the training part, the test pass, and the and the valid, uh, validation part. Okay, uh, we use that by using uh, the split the train test splitter from uh, skill learning. Uh, now, uh, so here regarding the to tokenization. Uh, first of all, I was uh, trying to to play with uh, three models okay so the first one was uh, the i mean the one have been using in the in the tutorial uh, this was this was called a uh, div line and uh, web based uh, multi language at casing function amaric so i add another other two which is um a lama 27b from hanging face and uh, uh, this, uh, this one is a Gary logistic. So, uh, 
So I initialize the, the tokenizer and uh, um, for a small uh, uh, tokenizer, uh, I just uh, I just want to tokenize a part with a maximum length and also uh, activate the, the truncation. So uh, after doing that, uh, uh, the we remove after that the, I mean after tokenizing the our test. I mean the test here it is the article. Okay, after tokenizing we we remove that uh, <clears throat> from the data set and and uh, here uh, we just shuffle here. So what I was doing here is uh, for the three models basically. The, so it is the same thing. I will shuffle the, the train, the test, and the evaluation. Um, after here, we will we, we load it. Uh, I, could, I will load it uh, with uh, the data loader from PyTorch. Uh, so here, uh, and I will call the the, classic, the classification model, okay. and also the the, gen, uh, the generating model. Also, um, we are looking to again phase, and uh, uh, when I try to um, when I try to to call the the other one, uh, this uh, this one for the the first one, which are, which are called base, base, or the base name. Okay. Uh, the the lama the lama two f seven b from uh, hugging face and the Gary model. Uh, when I try to to call them, basically, the they were not working. That's why I I comment them. And uh, this way, this way I was, and uh, I fall asleep. So today I wanted to continue to understand the remaining. It, it does, it doesn't remain a, a, a lot. Uh, it is regarding the training. So this is basically what I was doing. Uh, when how, how many data do you have on this, like article part? So oh. did you count how many tokens are there, or how many? Words are there? Yeah, uh, for the return, yes. Uh, so it's 1,569 um, yeah. at least. This, this okay. one is for the train, the train path, so I can. Yeah, so most likely around 2,000 something or 3,000. Okay, and then is it art is that the articles? Like the titles, or is it just the content? Yes, I didn't get the question. So, is are, are the articles just articles, or are they? Uh, the I, I mean, uh, are they are uh, they like titles? Like, how many words do they have in, in each of the articles? Okay, okay, so, good, good, good question. Uh, so, if you just uh, say lane, lane of uh or word link so anyways just okay so that that part is we need to understand how much yeah. data is there in each of this even if it's like let's say 2500 like yeah, if you just print so, one of them yeah i mean i think uh, i have the length somewhere i, I can share quickly uh yeah so that one Lane is that one. So Lane is just, yeah. so then it's most likely it's a title. Yeah. Like if that is 399 is lengths of characters, it's not that many. Yeah. Because the, no, it's also, it doesn't make sense. Um, okay. 
So, okay, so word links means you you separated by space and then counted. Is that the case? Yeah, okay. Yeah. D plus and then what is word link? Where do you calculate word links? Okay. Or is it coming from? Yeah, okay. Uh, before the. Yeah, okay. So it's, it's probably an article. If it's like in terms of words, 300 words, maybe just this is article. Okay. So that means. Yeah, I mean, before the, the length, I think it should be uh, within, the, yeah. within okay. the space. So, uh, I mean, this is, yeah, there are many Amharic data sets that are, this one is labeled, which is good for other things, at least it might help. So, um, yeah, good. Maybe just contribute this data as well as just part of not, uh, uh, not an ad, but maybe just this is non ad labeled data. Oh, okay. So, it's, so it, it can be acted as like, you know, no ad, uh, but within that a certain level. So that's good. Okay. So uh, we can we can we can contribute that that data uh, to. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. So uh, the reason why we I was trying this this uh, this uh, uh, model uh, this tutorial it is because I, I have seen already that they have uh, if we manage to to do this when our data will be ready if we just we just uh, replace uh, the the data with uh, our uh, with the hours, yeah. and then we'll be fine. Now the other question is to know uh, uh, if you are you are doing the the right things also. Great. Okay. I think this is great. Um, I think yeah, the the data part um, would definitely help, uh, especially as we are fine tuning like once we understand what is going on with body model or other mistral or another anyone trying and then we have a clear understanding and then we now have clearly fine tuned it um we can measure its accuracy its limitation and we can also explain if it works or if it doesn't work why it works or why it doesn't work so that's good and i see also group one uh, they have 49k role labeled news data that's great at least we we don't know where we're going to use it but at least please contribute it so that we have at least um that um in case we need it okay and uh uh as as uh, an idea for the the gary one as a uh, uh, abdul and ayaya have this year uh, we will trying to follow their step and yeah, and then learn learn to understand as well where they are. Just not only fine tuning. You know, we can fine tune, and it, we might get something that is not sensible. So we want to get something sensible and understand. So not only just try to fine tune, but also understand the code, okay. how things are. You know, uh, and then contribute in that understanding as well. So okay. fine tuning, just running a code, is something okay. You know. But if we don't understand it, if no one has understood really, ex no one can explain it, it's it's not good. So that's the whole point. Let's go through the code together, you know, distribute it and understand exactly what's going on. If that is the case, then we can understand every other fine tuning. Exactly. So currently, we don't have, you know, that expert in this, in this group. So let's create that expertise uh, together. Okay. Okay. Good. okay. Uh -huh. And uh, for for that, uh, uh, I will take that opportunity to to request a meeting from uh, AI and uh, yeah. Abdul team so that they can they can help us. If uh, others uh, or maybe the group of uh, Biniam one also, uh, they can yeah. create a, a session so that they can uh, help to to understand the core. Uh, of what they have done so that we can know yeah where so to i would say just given given the part it's within a group understand and then ask questions relevant questions contribute knowledge saying like this code is useful for that you know yeah. because you have checked so because i think distributed is better and then share with it to a common pool uh, that understanding and then both questions as well as explanations or answers are contributions okay Okay, so Abdul Hamid, you shared now this. I, I don't think uh, it's a word count then. It seems, 
It's a character count. It's not. No, it's, it's a word count. Um, what does it mean? Because I mean, normally tokens and words are not that different. So here it seems so. So, so the this is guys. Huh? Yeah, yeah. The step I used is to to count the total number of words, and then for the tokens count, I created a set so that it only holds the unique values. So ah, okay. So this is the vocabulary. No, no. I yeah. but so th then you are saying the vocabulary. No, I I meant just total tokens. Like you know, you don't have to. It's not, it should not be too unique. It's basically that is the vocabulary. So the two different are. So the the token list is a completely, you know. How many tokens do you have in your overall data? While the vocabulary is just what are the unique ones. But the the unique one you can count actually without using anywhere any any data because it's just the tokenizer has the vocabulary itself. So you you know I'm sure when you when you actually load it, you can tell it how many tokens how many vocabulary stars it must have some uh, method for that. Okay. Okay. So, so that one, so that means one, so this is what you are test, you have tested. So that is the data you guys have. Is that the case? Yeah, this is one of the data we have. So one of the, so that means uh, it's 1.5 million uh, yeah. uh, words. So which is around probably roughly the same or a couple of times that. Okay, so this is the type that I, I am interested. So can we, you know, how much can we do? So this is all Telegram. Yeah, Telegram data for the Wasu Muhammad channel. Great. Okay. Very single. Yeah. So then I think overall, when we do that, with at least knowing, and also we have to know. I mean, test it with the Gary's tokenizer. Is it giving you for some, you know, choose a subset of um uh, ads or whatever posts and then is it tokenizing it in a nice way like you know how are the the um, emojis are tokenized how are you know how are things tokenized that would be good to know yeah so i think it kind of does tokenize if i can if i can share my screen yeah you can just share it yeah that would be good Is it visible? Yeah, it's visible now. Just uh, oh, change the his screen. Screen. No, no, but yeah. I think we're only seeing you are presenting your screen. What? Okay, now now we see. So can you increase it slightly a bit more? Okay. How about now? Yeah, it's coming. It's yeah. This is good. This is better. Yeah. Okay. So there are some un unknown variables, unknown characters or words. Those probably are. So can we see the the very first, uh, the one that you are tokenizing, the original? Oh, the word. Okay. Yeah, they are the same thing, you know, the kind of. This is Masarata Dago. Okay. Um, so can you print that part as only, just as a okay. p print? The first only. Okay. Just uh, select as well the column, just the very first column. Okay, let's see how what it comes out. Yeah, it's not trying. Yeah. So I lock zero would be, if I don't know if it is. No, it is not right. The, no, no, it's fine. I think it's mostly sometimes it, it is when your Jupyter notebook is very large, it also has that issue. Um, okay, so let's go down and see it's just the other the tokenized. So, Maseret, yeah. I mean, this is definitely by far better than um, the, yeah, so just if, if do you have Llama? So, just testing it on Llama, just actually tokenizer would, would also make us compare, but we know yeah. uh, that would have been just not this. So this is better, definitely. 
Okay, nice. So it's about them comparing. If you yeah. if you have a sentence piece that you train on the data uh, and compare it with Gary, then that also tells you how how much they actually you know how much is the difference. All right. Yeah, but this I is okay. The, the so this, this answers one question that yeah. they they I think it's working and what they are promising what they have promised. Is exactly what you have, so that's good. So that means the tokenizer is um, good. You know, for all practical purposes, we see it's actually good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Great. Okay. So um, I, th I hope that is it's very clear. The part I, you know that this week has been or the past two weeks, uh, that last week and this week slightly different. It is not trade learning, as you can see. It's a uh, delivering and focused and strategizing. So I hope that is very clear. And um, yeah, so I think let's stop it here, and uh, we can continue uh, again. We will have a very similar session tomorrow to reflect. Rudolf. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Yabeba, for the presentation. Uh, there is something I would like to uh, highlight is uh yeah. with them uh, uh in my team i have few people who are active and uh, uh i think i can say three of us are active but uh, two of us are playing a team a team work so mm. that is the case uh so i just wanted to to under to to yeah. highlight that finally yeah it's it's good i think ultimately you you all then will judge uh, the active members will judge you know how much uh, of your work should be evaluated counted uh, as three so you guys will discuss and and tell us as well by writing because we will use that one to count contributions from okay, the good. okay great wonderful thanks everyone i hope it was helpful and it also forces us to be uh, to focus hopefully so uh, with that, let's stop. Then, Academy team, we can um, stop the recording. Thank you, everyone.